All right, here we are. Uh, I think it's day seven or eight. We forgot to record yesterday. I think yesterday was day seven. Um, today's day eight on my moose hunt. I uh, didn't see anything yesterday, nothing today so far. So it's tough, it's been hot. Um, the country looks awesome. Lots of ponds, looks very moosey. But so far, I uh, haven't found any bulls yet. So keep after it. Uh, I leave for Alaska in uh, a week from, uh, let's see, a week from today. So got till Tuesday to hunt. Today's uh, Wednesday. Gonna hunt every day till we find a bull. So. Um, it's early afternoon, it's been 65 to 75 all day in the, in, in the afternoon, so pretty hot. Um, just walked up this little draw and doing a little calling early to see if we can get something to come down. And uh, we're going to hit it hard tonight, hopefully find a bull. So. Oh. 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 I don't know if you can hear that, but that bull is just calling back over and over and over. Still haven't seen the bull, but he's been calling and raking and working his way down that ridge. I think he's just in the middle of that that thick hill, but he is calling and he's coming. Heck yeah, that's awesome. Called him in from clear across there. He was clear over there and he came all the way here, 30 yards. Smoked him, one shot, he's down already. Holy crap, 
Holy crap. That's awesome. Day eight of my moose hunt and I think I've seen three bulls total and I haven't seen a bull in I think four or five days so I came up started calling across this canyon not super early like midday and I heard this bull grunting over there I thought I heard him and then I heard him raking a tree and I thought that's not a moose is it and then I heard it again and I'm like that's a moose and he came from all the way over the top of that hill, all the way across, down through the bottom, up this side, and came into 37 yards. And I think I shot him at about 35 yards, something like that. So uh, he was facing towards me, still grunting, and still slobbering out his mouth. And uh, I was waiting, waiting, waiting for him to turn broadside. He turned almost broadside and I took a couple steps to the to my right to get a little better angle and I slipped one up in there and he ran up about probably 50 yards or less started stumbling and he's already down so I've been waiting to uh, get this moose tag for 25 years here in Utah uh, Shiris moose is one of the ones I need for my super slam so I'm leaving to go uh, hunt brown bears in Alaska in about seven days so I've been pushing hard to get a moose this is day eight out looking and uh, got one down so pretty awesome super excited to look at him I got a tip for you for moose hunting so we called this bull from up there clear over there and I called him to here and this is what you want to do when you kill a moose. See this? This is called a road. And you want him to be close to that. So we did pretty good on that. Especially considering he came from, I don't know how far, 1,500? Wow, well, who knows? But my broadhead did a number. Saw the blood pouring out of him. Look at all this in the road. There he is. Yeah, he broke this paddle right here on this side. See that? He broke this one. Oh, jeez. That point, but look at this front school. He's got one, two, three, four on that side. One, two, kind of three, four on that side. And then one, two, three, five. I'm assuming he probably had the same over here, but he broke her off. So, no matter how you look at it, that is a cool, yeah, that's a cool moose. <laughs> yeah, when he, he had all this crap in his horns when I shot him. He was raking it all up and pretty sweet. So got a bunch of the velvet on there. So, and uh, just cool experience. Came up here and set up on this hill and called, not really expecting a whole lot, uh, kind of early in the afternoon. And this bull, I could hear him across the canyon, probably, I don't know, 1,500 yards away, and I could hear him grunting. And I could hear him raking trees. And it took about an hour, but he worked his way all the way across the canyon, all the way up this side. And I came into 37 yards, and boy, I debated. And he just has such cool character. Those fronts are all twisted. and just three or four points on the front just super cool so uh, 37 yard shot hit him good and uh, he didn't go too far so pretty sweet